Welcome to the last segment of our four-part series, E-Commerce Checkout Best Practices. If you've watched all the previous videos, then hopefully you've gotten an idea of just how important it is to optimize your checkout flow to reduce cart abandonment. If you haven't seen those yet, I highly recommend that you do, and they are linked in the video description below. But today, rather than cover the theory of how to optimize your shopping cart, I'm going to take you on a tour of Snipcart's V3 to show you how we've made the out-of-the-box checkout flow as lean as possible while still allowing for branded customization. Let's get started. Right now, you're looking at the demo shop for Snipcart's V3. First off, you'll notice that the color scheme is fairly neutral, relying on blue, gray, and white. It's important to note that you'll be able to customize the color scheme and the cart fields to your liking, but we chose these colors specifically to be neutral with most brands. At the very least, the cart as is doesn't clash with many brands. We like to call it brand agnostic, meaning in terms of appearance, it goes with most things. As we look at our products list, you'll see that we can click one, have it added to the cart, and either check out or click continue shopping on the top left. Right off the bat, I want to call attention to something that doesn't happen. A new window popping up. Some major e-commerce solutions will open the cart in a separate window with their own URL, which we feel can take away from a personal brand and add confusion and slash or friction to the user experience. Here, you'll notice that when you go to the cart, it's the same URL in the navigation bar and provides a seamless user experience. Now we're in the cart itself. We made sure that everything conformed to the e-commerce checkout flow best practices down to the very last detail in order to reduce cart abandonment. This includes small things like showing a clear description and a description of the product in the cart, allowing for product customization with custom fields and product options, using a clear remove icon that saves space and this is very important for mobile, updating the subtotal cost after changes in quantity, Letting customers know that shipping and taxes will be included later in the checkout flow. Keeping a closed promotional field so as not to draw too much attention to it. Now this is important again if you rarely run promotions, as people tend to leave their cart to find that code and never come back. Showing that your client's payment is secure with trust signals. And displaying payment options. These are all little details, sure, but surprisingly important for helping customers get all the way to checkout. So with that said, let's proceed to check out ourselves. First up comes billing information. You'll notice it's sleek and concise. We cut unnecessary fields like phone number, address number two, and company name. Now you can always add these things if needed, but all the research shows that less is more in this department and you should be as asking for as little information as possible while making sure you can adequately serve the customer now and in future transactions. Here, we capture the customer's email address as quickly as possible. This is helpful for when you're working with cart abandonment recovery features. Now, one thing that I love about this cart is that the error messages are clear. Let's say I try to move forward with an incorrect email address. The user sees clearly what the problem is in red text before moving forward, and the field box itself is completely highlighted. Also note that the error message, while inline, doesn't show up as soon as the input starts, which I'm sure you know is super annoying. Then we get to address. You'll notice as I start typing my address, several options are predicted, making it easier for the user to fill in the field. In my specific case, the address isn't there, so I have the option to add it manually like so. That said, my country is already pre-filled and the province or state is filled based on the country. So if I change my country to the US, the province or state field changes automatically as well. By default, shipping and billing are the same, but you can check the box to manually enter a different shipping address if needed. You would likely want to change the setting and make shipping and billing different by default if you sell things that are sent as gifts like flowers, engraved items, or gift boxes, things like that. You can also accomplish this from Snipcart's merchant dashboard. One other important thing that I really love about this cart is that the taxes are calculated as soon as your address is entered. Plus, let's say you go back to continue shopping, the tax rate is now saved and calculated in the cart itself. For example, if I decided to close this window and open it again, say after lunch, all the items are still stored in my cart if I am working from the same browser. Now if I add a product to the cart, you'll notice that taxes are adjusted and shown before checkout. 
The goal is to limit any surprises in cost before your client reaches payment. Typically, if a customer has to wonder how on earth something doubled in price throughout the checkout flow, they'll leave the cart and look for a better or at least more transparent option. Next comes shipping options based on the location I entered, and today, I think I'll go for the standard shipping, as that's the only one offered in the demo. You'll notice that even before payment, my total is already added up with the tax on the sides, so there are no surprises waiting for me. The total is clearly added based on my location and shipping method. Like taxes, if you close the window and continue shopping later, the shipping rate will be saved and calculated in the total cost at the cart level before checkout. After two short steps, we arrive at payment. Entering payment method is very simple. We just add in the credit card number, expiration month, and the CVC. You'll notice the icon in the field changing to let users know what type of card is being used and where the CVC is located. We also detect your credit card's company, like Visa or MasterCard, within the first two to four card numbers input. One of the coolest things at this point, however, is that even at the payment stage, customers can still click Edit to modify their cart like so. A side screen pops up, lets your client modify the cart, and automatically updates everything in a clear and organized fashion. When you go back to checkout, there's no need to make any changes to any of the fields entered. And that's it. You'll want to set up confirmation emails as mentioned in the last video, but this is a demonstration of the very basic level functionality all e-commerce checkouts should have. Again, you can customize your cart with Snipcart, but this is the default package and has many of the requirements most e-commerce companies will need. Of course, we actually built the cart mobile first due to the rise of mobile e-commerce. Cart abandonment rates are around 85% from mobile devices. By designing it for your smartphones or tablets first, we cut the problem off at the knees to make sure it worked well on mobile first and translated to desktop. If you want to learn more about optimizing your checkout flow, you can do so for free by watching the first few parts of this video series or reading the article that inspired it all, Optimize Your E-Commerce Checkout Flow in 2019, linked in the show notes below. And as a special bonus, we've created a short checklist that you can use to do a cart audit for your own site to make sure that your cart is running as efficiently as possible. You can get that free checklist at the link below in the show notes as well. Remember to subscribe to our channel and to like this video. Be sure to follow us on Twitter under the handle at Snipcart. And finally, if you did get something from this video, go ahead and share it via Facebook or Twitter with friends or colleagues you might think would get some value from it. We hope you've enjoyed this video series, and if you have any questions, you can always shoot us an email at geeks at snipcart.com. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.